Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Shake Hands with Life. I am Narendra Sharma. In this video, we will study the use of chi-square test to compare a sample variance to some theoretical or hypothesized variance. But before to start learning, make sure that you have subscribed Shake Hands with Life YouTube channel and hit the bell to get the notifications of my latest video lectures. Chi-square value is often used to just the significance of population variance. It implies to conclude if a random sample has been drawn from a normal population with a specified variance and therefore the null hypothesis is assumed as h0 such that sigma s square equal to sigma p square. It implies the sample variance sigma s square and the population variance sigma p square are same and the sample has been drawn from the population whose variance is sigma p square. On the contrary, the alternative hypothesis is assumed as H A such that sigma S square not equal to sigma P square. It implies the sample variance sigma S square and the population variance sigma P square are not same or you can say that significantly different and the sample has not been drawn from that population whose variance is sigma p square. Now the test statistic for calculating the value of chi square is given by the equation chi square equal to sigma s square divided by sigma p square multiplied by n minus 1. Here sigma s square is the variance of the sample and sigma p square is the variance of the population. n minus 1 is the degrees of freedom where n being the number of items in the sample. Now the rejection and acceptance of a null hypothesis depends upon the calculated value of chi square. If the calculated value of chi square is equal to or greater than the critical value of chi square taken from the table value for n minus 1 degrees of freedom at a given significance level then reject the null hypothesis and if the calculated value of chi square is less than the critical value of chi square then we can't reject the null hypothesis and hence continue with the null hypothesis now let's take a problem to understand the use of chi-square test in a better way. Weight of 10 students is given in the table. The variance of the distribution of weights of all students of a school is 20 kgs. That means 20 kg. Can we conclude that sample of 10 students is drawn from this school at 5% and 1% significance level? Now to solve this problem, first we need to calculate the variance of the sample and for that rearrange the data in column format. In the first column, the sequence of the students is taken. In second column, weights of the corresponding students are taken which is denoted by xi and the sum of the weights of the students is denoted by sigma xi comes out as 470. Now calculate the average weight which is denoted by x bar and can be calculated as the sum of the weights sigma xi divided by the number of students 10 and the average weight comes out as 47 kilogram. Now in the third column find the deviation of each xi from x bar means average weight and 
in the fourth column find the square of the deviations xi minus x bar and the sum of the squared deviations comes out as 280 kilogram. Now the sample variance can be calculated as sigma s square equal to sum of the squared deviations given by sigma xi minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1. Now put the values of sum of the squared deviations and n in this formula and calculate the sample variance and when we calculate this the value of sample variance comes out as 31.11 kilogram. Now we calculate the value of chi-square using the test statistic given by the equation chi-square equal to sigma s square divided by sigma p square into n minus 1. Now put the values of sample variance sigma s square, population variance sigma p square and n in this equation and calculate the value of chi-square. And after working out the equation, the value of chi-square comes out as 13.99. Now to conclude whether the null hypothesis should be rejected or continued, we compare the calculated value of chi-square with the critical value of chi-square. From chi-square distribution for degrees of freedom n-1 equal to 9 at 5% and 1% significance level. Now the critical value of chi-square at 5% significance level is 16.92 and at 1% significance level it is 21.67 from the chi-square distribution table for 9 degrees of freedom. But the calculated value of chi-square is 13.99 which is less than the critical values of chi-square at 5% significance level and 1% significance level. Hence, in both cases at 5% and 1% significance level, we can't reject the null hypothesis in either case and conclude that the variance of the given distribution can be taken as 20 kilograms. And in simple words, the said sample of the students is taken from the school with weight variance of 20 kilograms and that's it if you have any question or suggestions then please do write your feedback in the comment box below hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues switch to shake hand with life youtube channel for more video lectures subscribe the channel and hit the bell to get the notifications of my latest video lectures visit on shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in PDF. See you soon in my next video.